After the first couple of days in Israel, we left Jerusalem and headed over to the West Bank. The West Bank is under the Palestinian Authority, and under most situations, Israeli citizens are forbidden. We rolled into town and ran into a Starbucks knockoff, but then headed straight to a church. We got to hear from a man who is smack dab in the middle of Muslims and Jews preaching the unadulterated gospel. It's an amazing thing to see and hear of what's taking place behind the scenes in Israel. The graffiti that we saw was phenomenal. It was artistic, it was beautiful, but it was very much political and even a statement that was being made. Much of this art is done by the famous and world-renowned painter, graffiti artist extraordinaire, Banksy. We headed over to Bethlehem here we had a chance to sing some songs and hymns around Christmas and the place where it all started. From here we headed over to the Garden of Gethsemane. It was beautiful, even peaceful and then went into the Church of All Nations, where the very rock that Jesus prayed by is housed. We jumped back on the road and headed back into Jerusalem to the city of David. Inside is a bustling city filled with commerce, with shops, with people. It's a beautiful sight to see. Then we headed to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This is a place where there's a little bit of debate. Some believe that this was the site of Jesus' crucifixion, while others think it's at a different location. Whether it is or it isn't, it's a beautiful site nonetheless, and I really enjoyed my time there. After a quick tour, we left there, cruised through the city, and headed over to the Western Wall. A little history lesson. The Western Wall in Jerusalem is the holiest of all Jewish sites. It's sacred because it's a remnant of the Herodian retaining wall that once enclosed and supported the Second Temple. It's also called the Wailing Wall by European observers because for centuries Jews have gathered there to lament the loss of their temple. Prayers take place here day and night for special services and celebrations as well. One of the cool things we got to experience was some of the archaeological finds. They're currently actively doing research and finding new sites that are not only relevant to the Bible, but also to culture in general. One of the cool things we got to do was go underground and walk a path that Jesus, most likely, almost 99% surely, had walked. Imagine going to bed knowing that you walked in the same place that Jesus walked. The very next day we had a chance to meet the man, the myth, and the legend who was responsible for creating the borders and fences between Israel and their neighbors. This trip was jam-packed with learning, culture, history, Bible, but this was our last day in Jerusalem, so we headed back into the city. And I want to shamelessly plug this business. Check this out real quick. Go to the website, gallery at blueandwhiteart.com. Sure. They can send them anywhere in the world. Check it out. Support it. It's beautiful. He gifted us those pictures, so we were super grateful. The least we can do is plug them. But it was lunchtime. And if you guys know anything about Kyra and I, we love barbecue and try to find it everywhere we go. Okay, so where are we at? We are at Smokehouse. Look down here. Smokehouse. Okay. Um, in... A market in somewhere in Jerusalem. But the place that we came, it has brisket, it has hot wings, we got french fries. We've been craving, um, so there's a lot of Mediterranean food here, so we've been craving some hard cooked smokehouse barbecue, and we found it. So, so we would find barbecue in Israel, not just 
what we do when we go to Kansas City, we go to barbecue, we go to New York, we look for barbecue. It's our default go-to, yes. is I want to try brisket, chicken, I want to try that around the world. And so, it's our last day, technically, in Jerusalem to find a place that serves barbecue. I'm excited. No lie, if I closed my eyes and ate this brisket, I wouldn't have known I was in Israel. It was tender, it had a good bark, it had a good bite. It was fire. So the barbecue, obviously we had to take a to-go bag. Yeah. It was amazing. Israelis know how to do barbecue. Come on. Uh, it was uh, A plus. I would a get plus. What did you say about the barbecue? Amazing. Amazing. Second stop, just as amazing. It's ridiculous. Of course my wife has to have something sweet after salty, but we ended the day by heading over to the Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial. We weren't allowed to bring phones in to record, but it was heavy. Because the story of the Holocaust is one of darkness and despair that demonstrates the depths of depravity to which humans can sink. But this place commemorates the actions of non-Jews who stood by the Jews' side during the Holocaust. They protected the Jewish neighbors at a time when hostility and indifference prevailed. It goes without saying, we left there heavy-hearted and a little down, but at the end of the day, we were heading home to get some rest to finish up the last leg of our trip. 